is Jocelyn Conrad and I own Jossie Pots. I've been in clay for 10 years and as a business for five. And today we're in my garage studio and I would love to walk you through one of my processes for making a floral vase. The first step of my process is measuring and weighing out the clay. Then I wedge it into balls to get me set up on the wheel. Now that we're at the wheel, I begin to center the clay. I begin to open it and pull up the sides and create the shape of the base that I will cut off the wheel and move on to my next step. Once I've cut the vase off the wheel and it's dried to a state of leather hard, I can turn it over. I use trimming tools to shape the bottom. Sometimes I grab a sponge to clean up any nicks that I make. The next step is moving to my workstation and mapping out the design and the pattern of what I'll cut into the clay. Once I have my design drawn out, I grab my X-Acto knife and start cutting. Then I set it aside and let it dry for a couple days to reach what's called bone dry. And it's the most fragile part the clay can be. So I carefully clean up the marks that I've made, any lines. So once it's cleaned and smooth, it's ready to go into the kiln for a bisque fire. Once it's out of the kiln, the last step is to glaze the pot. And I use a simple palette of colors, clean, light, airy, 